Right, good day, grade 11s and grade 12s, and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be focusing on mail merging. And I'm going to be including the editing process within a mail merge as well. Now, most of you know already when you look at a mail merge document or question that you need to do, you'll usually see a layout that looks something like this. You can see that there's grayed out areas over here. Right? And this is simply because this is where they want you to insert your merge fields when you do get there. So those are the things that's going to change. We look at our document, we see in the bottom left hand corner um, that there is only one page at the moment. So we know that mail merge is a four step process. First of all, we go to our mailings tab on top. From there, what do we do? We go to start mail merge. And they'll usually tell us what they want it to be. In this case, we'll just use letters. From there, we go to select recipients. Remember now, step one was start mail merge. Step two is select recipients. Then we'll usually always use an existing list. So please remember from here, you need to navigate to where um, your list actually is. That'll usually be in your test folder. Right, and once I get there, I'm just going to use this one. Uh, your sheet table will come up like this. So here you'll have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three. It's actually telling you that this spreadsheet um, or this workbook has three sheets inside of it. I can then click OK. Right. So usually what we will then do is from that, we'll go through to I'll insert merge field and you can see there are three fields um, and once I'm done with that I can go uh, finish merge or I can you know go preview results first to see what it looks like before finishing the merge that's the usual thing that I do however I do want to include edit recipient list um, in this particular video if I click on edit recipient list you can actually see I've now got a list of everything inside of this particular spreadsheet. So I've got my data source, in other words, the, the workbook name, right? the name of the file. Um, it's all ticked over there. I've got the surnames, I've got the titles, and I've got the numbers. So let's say for argument's sake, um, they wanted us to exclude any professors or doctors, right? So then I would Take the tick out of that professor over there. Take the tick out of doctor. And then they want us to maybe sort um, the result, you know, the surnames. They want us to do that from A to Z. I can do that over here. You can see how that changes. I can add certain filters. Um, there's a lot of other, you know, changes we can do here, but I'm just going to use this as an example. And then I click OK. So what's going to happen now is when I do the merge field, it's going to start with this individual over here. Right. So I click OK. I go insert merge field. And remember, before you do this, please click where you want the field to appear. So insert merge field. Remember, I click there now and I say title. Then I delete this bit. Say OK. Give me a space. Insert surname, and then I go down to number. I do the same over there. Now to make sure that I have done this correctly, I can go to preview results, and you'll not only see that the title, surname, and number is correct, but you can see that according to me sorting it out under the edit recipients list, it is that individual that is listed first. Okay, so if you do get something like this and they do ask you to edit um, what is in there, this is where you'll go and do it. So we start the mail merge, select the recipients, we edit it if it is required. We then insert our merge fields, preview the results to make sure we are happy. And then we go finish merge, edit individual documents because we can't print or send. And we say we're going to edit, sorry, merge all our records and we click OK. And now you can see we've gone from one page through to seven pages. So grade 11s and 12s, this is again how through our mailings tab that we 
um, perform our mail merge with editing a recipient list as well.